in the area and that we can be a company that you would be proud to have your family work at. And uh, our staff is very involved in the community. We do events for places like American Red Cross, the Boys and Girls Club of Delaware, Delaware Hospice, the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, United Way, Easter Seals. I, I can't name them all, but I just want you to tell you how proud I am of my staff and their participation in the community. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank a few uh, really longtime clients who have been with us for over 20 years. Um, the DuPont Mobile Equipment Solutions, uh, Mid-Atlantic Realty, and Delaware Hospice. And also, I want to thank Wilmington Trust and, because they are certainly a key uh, in helping us get here and also a client. And so I want to thank you again for all of you for being here. And at this time, I want to turn it over to Joe Wolf, the President and CEO of the Delaware State Chamber and our Master of Ceremonies today. Jim. That's good. I've always wanted to be a Joe. <laughs> that's, that's quite all right. I, I've been called a lot worse, believe me. And by the governor, too. <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight. And I see John Rago is here. He was supposed to be the master of ceremonies, and uh, uh, we thought maybe he'd be in jail. But uh, no, he was, he was doing jury duty, and he just got out. So thank you for coming by anyhow. But that's great. Barbara. Thank you for the intro, but uh, it really is great having you here and starting up this business like this. I just want to congratulate not only you, Barbara, but Nancy and Nick for the, the kind of work that you've done. When you start looking back, SSD started in 1983, and that's exactly when you joined the chamber. And you've been a part of us for some time. Uh, dream big. Dream big. That's really what it's all about, and it's what American Free Enterprise is all about. The values of individual initiative, hard work, freedom of choice, and ideas can lead Delaware back to prosperity. And only free enterprise will create the innovation, the opportunities, and the job our, jobs that our nation does need. And you two women, uh, Barbara and Nancy, when you started this off, you really do fit that mold. You started off, you dreamed big, and look where you are today. You've gone from a small 12 by 10 foot office space to five times the size here now, and you just keep on growing. Also, you've had numerous uh, recognitions along the way. You were a uh, Delaware State Chamber Superstars in Business Award winner, winner in 2004, and also the Small Business uh, Association's 2009 Delaware Business Small Person of the Year. So congratulations for those as well. But when you look, and you know what's happened with the economy, and you know what's happened over the past uh, many, many years since you launched. You really are survivors, and you've adapted to change, challenge, and adversity through, along the way. So congratulations again. They put customers first, and it shows, and that's why they continue to grow, and that's one of their mottos, of, of one of the best things that they do and why they have stayed in business as long as they have. Now, without further ado, I'm going to be uh, announcing and introducing three people who really don't need any introduction, but I just wanted to mention uh, our first speaker, Governor Jack Markell, has been very, very strong supporting business, not only while he's been in office as governor, but when he was with Treasurer, too. He's taken on many issues uh, for the business committee and helped us uh, eliminate bottlenecks. The most recently has been the uh, permitting process that we've had, and without any uh, further ado, Thank you. I want to thank uh, Jim for the introduction. Most importantly, uh, congratulate Barbara and Nancy and Nick. Uh, this is a great uh, day for the riverfront, a great day for Wilmington, and a great day for the state. Uh, with Mayor Baker and Joe DePinto here, it's great to be with them, two people who care passionately about the economic uh, vitality uh, of the city. Uh, I also want to thank Mike Przicki. Uh This would not be possible were it not for the incredible work that's been done uh, here at the riverfront over the last many years. And uh, it is great. And uh, uh, we heard about the, the great view. It is a great view. But if, you, if we think about what was here and what vision and uh, some support uh, from the state and, many, and the city and many others has made possible, uh, Mike, we're very grateful for your, for your leadership. Uh, Jim mentioned that uh, SSD has succeeded uh, because they've kept their focus on the customer. And he's right. And that's exactly the same approach that we have to take as a state government. We are only going to be as strong as the state, as, as our private sector 
uh, is strong. And that means people in, in government have got to put, that we've got to put ourselves into the shoes of the people who create the jobs and the prosperity in the first place. And we've got to focus in on what it is that these folks care most about. Because they have choices. And in the case of SSD, they could have uh, stayed in Delaware as they did. They could have gone someplace else. And we're delighted that they stayed here. But part of that means focusing every day, as I say, on the things that they care most about. And it's not that complicated. Businesses want to be in places with great schools, with reasonable taxes, with a great quality of life. And a view like this certainly, uh, certainly helps a lot. They want to be in places where there are strong connections between institutions of higher education and local companies. They also want a responsive government, which means we've got to listen. We've got to listen very carefully. And we've spent a lot of time over the last year, thanks to the leadership of Alan Levin and the Economic Development Office and our work with the Chamber, uh, at listening to the needs of small business. That's why last year we created a program to facilitate borrowing at an affordable rate for small businesses because we heard about so many challenges uh, that small businesses have had accessing uh, the credit markets. Just last week, we introduced a program that I'm very excited about called the Business Finders Fee. And this is encouraged to, um, it's, it's designed to have businesses reach out to their suppliers, their partners, their customers elsewhere, and to have them set up shop in Delaware. And when they do, and let's take SSD as an example, if you've got a supplier, a partner, a customer who decides to come to Delaware to create jobs here, both you and they will be eligible for a, uh, you'll each be eligible for a $500 a year per person uh, tax credit uh, that would extend for a three year period. No other state's tried something like this, and it's really trying to leverage what is best about Delaware, which are the businesses that we have, and to give the businesses that are here a, a, a real incentive to reach out and to set others up as well.